For the rest of the show, Fox News contributors Sarah Carter and Lisa Booth. So great to see you both. I don't know uh, where to start. There's so much to dig into with this impeachment. <laughs> Let's just, I'll just take your reactions to what you just heard there from Senator Rounds. Lisa, I'll start with you. Well, I just think this whole thing is an absolute joke. I mean, you look at the two articles, abuse of power, obstruction of justice. What happened to bribery, right? And we know that they arrived at bribery because they did a focus group, which is why we know this entire thing is a political scam from the beginning. And also, where were these Democrats during the Obama administration? You look at 2014 alone, 47 of the nation's 73 inspectors general wrote to the Obama administration saying stop stonewalling or independent investigations. And you go through the list, whether it's 2012, Michael Horowitz recommending punishment for 14 DOJ and ATF officials for Fast and Furious. Then you go to Inspector General looking at the IRS targeting conservative groups. Then you look at another Inspector General uh, with the CIA finding out that they spied on the Senate right. Intelligence Committee, and John Brennan lied to Congress about it. Fast forward to 2016, and you had the State Department Inspector General finding that Hillary Clinton set up a private server. So where were all these Democrats when you're looking at <laughs> abuse of power and obstruction of justice then? Well, right. that's a very good question. I think we'll leave it out there. Perhaps Sarah <laughs> would like to pick up that particular ball and run with it. Well, I think Lisa brought up enormous points that are so obvious on their face. And the Democrats, they can't answer these questions because they know they failed. I mean, even if you look at Attorney General Eric Holder during Fast and Furious, he was held in contempt by Congress because he refused to answer questions about such a significant and outrageous program that was that was with the ATF at the time and approved by the Obama administration. Also, Steve, the Quinnipiac poll, right now we're seeing that despite all of the hearings, despite everything the Democrats have been lying about, basically lying about, the American public is just not buying it. It's yeah. 50 to 45. They, they're they exhausted of this. This has been three years of targeting President Trump, targeting him with basically narratives that were based on lies. We know that now. Why? Because the inspector general's report is out. And Michael Horowitz made it very clear that the FBI failed egregiously. There was malfeasance within the FBI to basically target President Trump's campaign, uh, spy on Carter Page, basically ruin his life. Yeah. Think about this. They exposed somebody who was actually assisting our CIA they had to come out. People had to know the truth in this inspector general report. But they made him seem like he was an asset of Russia, which, by the way, is the same same type of narrative that they tried to do to President Trump. This is extraordinarily dangerous. It's wrong. And when they couldn't get him on that, after all the two years with Robert Mueller and the special counsel, then they go to this. They have basically spies within the NSC and people who are pretending that they care about this country, but they're completely politically biased. And now with impeachment, we can see it's just completely one sided. We know there's a lot of Dems that don't agree with this because they're in swing states. So Nancy Pelosi is stuck with a big problem on her hands. And I really don't know how they're going to be able to resolve this. Oh, we our hearts bleed for them, but um, I totally agree <laughs> with It really just breaks, it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, look, thanks. So great points, both of you. You'll be with us for the whole hour. Lots more to get into. Uh, we'll leave it there for the moment.